Hello guys and gals and welcome to another Rude Word episode. I got Mr. Mr. Nini with me today. He's had been hanging out with me all day. And um, he's a good boy. So we're going to be looking at the Rune Word Enlightenment. Enlightenment is a very interesting Rune Word. Um, because it gives you plus one to warmth on any character. It's the only reason why you might want to use this on another character, aside from maybe the fireball on striking. But um, it's definitely an interesting one. Now, every single class essentially gets a plus two to skills piece of armor. And, uh, and Sorceress is no exception, of course. They also get a plus two to skills armor. And, um, and this is theirs. It is called Enlightenment. It is Pul Ral Soul. Now, Pul runes are not insanely hard to find, and uh, Ral runes and Soul runes are fairly easy to find. So, uh, so not a difficult to create recipe uh, in the slightest. Uh, the level requirement of this recipe is actually only level 45. The reason why mine is level 63 is because it's made in an Archon plate. So if you make this in a lower tier armor, like, for instance, a mage plate, it will be level 45 requirement. Um, we also have uh, an interesting thing going on here with the, uh, the procs because they are both sorceress spells. So if you have level 20 warmth, um, which synergize with firewall, and you'll see that uh, warmth also synergizes with blaze, and uh, we also have synergies for fireball, which is... Uh, We've got uh, the, the Firebolt and the Meteor. So if you are building the synergies for Firebolt and building the synergies for Blaze, when the effects on this armor proc, the synergies will increase the damage of these abilities. So I can't really give you an exact number of what kind of damage level 15 Blaze and level 15 Fireball do because they're going to be very specific to how you have your sorcerer set up. If you only have one point in warmth, they're going to be very low. And if you have like 20 points in warmth, they're going to be very high. Um, if you're building the synergies specifically, then you're going to be able to uh, to get some decent damage out of them. Now, Blaze doesn't really do the most amazing damage, and it's a little bit hard to use. And Fireball is on striking, which means you have to actually go up and, uh, and beat the target. Uh, which makes this not so great for uh, for that particular purpose. So uh, unless you were going to be an enchant sorceress, who was uh, maybe a melee enchant sorceress, uh, that would not come in handy. However, if you were a melee enchant sorceress, as you can see, when my fireball proc there, I had a nice little uh, explosion that came out of my weapon. That was pretty cool. And um, did a nice little damage there. I'm just beating things with a level one staff, y'all. My Merc ain't got no gear either. Who needs equipment? Let's go. Let's go. Isn't that right, Mr. Nee Nee? Let's go. Let's see if we can get the blaze to proc, shall we? There we go. Nice little blaze. There's our level 15 blaze. And as you can see... Uh, it uh, it didn't last for quite a long time. You can uh, draw faces with it. You know, maybe this is your drawing armor. Maybe you want to draw. Okay, maybe you want to maybe you want to make uh, make uh, obscene gestures to your friends in fire. <laughs> um, so we've got our level fifteen uh, blaze. We've got our level fifteen firewall, both of which are interesting, uh, but not exceedingly high on the damage. Um, like I said, it's going to be highly variable depending on what your 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 synergies are. Uh, but let me go over the fireball damage because that actually might be something that somebody's looking at. So if somebody actually was to make this for a proc character, they might be looking at the fireball damage on a non-sorceress. And on a non-sorceress, you're looking at 150 to 175 fire damage. Um, and keep in mind that it is a explosion radius of about, uh, I think it's about four yards um, in reality, I know that on the skill, it only says that it's a uh, 2.6, but uh, it's kind of like 2.6 to the, you know, in a circle, like outward. So from the center point, it's like 2.6 out, and it, it ends up being about four yards. Um, it's it's um, it's not bad. Um, it's it, it actually doesn't really give you a good idea of the radius here. 
but when you actually see it explode, it's fairly large. It happened earlier, and if you guys were, were paying attention, but uh, but it was it was a, a fairly large effect radius. So it's going to do a hundred and you know 150 to 175 damage to multiple targets in that radial zone, which is nice. Um, we also have um, another thing about the fireball, which is it's uh, it kind of like I don't want to say stuns the target. I always I always end up using the term micro stun because it kind of causes a faster hit recovery um, animation. So when a when a monster is put into a faster hit recovery state, um, they will go into this recovery animation, and it's very brief. Um, and they once they hit this recovery animation, they you know obviously they finish it and then they resume attacking you. Well, I've noticed that Fireball seems to put monsters into a faster hit recovery state. So it's kind of an interesting way to have a little micro stun that's attached to your attacks, which is interesting. Um, th this this may not work out well for obviously a sorceress who's actually using spells, but um, I could see use of this on a uh, an enchant sorceress. That be well, that would be a uh, a nice use for it. Uh, we also have plus two to sorceress skills, which of course is going to be very nice for a sorceress. Um, this is a cheap way that you can get plus two sork early on. Uh, there is no faster cast on this, unfortunately, and and you would think that if they were making this specifically for a sorceress, they would be like, huh, maybe sorceresses would like faster cast, but no, they didn't. Uh, we have plus one to warmth, which actually gives you the skill. And, uh, and this is one of the other interesting things about this armor is that it actually gives you the warmth skill. So even if you don't have warmth, it will give it to you. And if you are not a sorceress, it gives you warmth. Um, so say, for instance, you were a necromancer and you were having trouble with mana rest restoration and you just wanted to make this armor so you would have plus one to warmth. I mean, there's really not a lot going on for this armor other than the plus one to warmth on a necromancer, but with your plus to skills that you would have as a necromancer, since because necromancers generally do have plus to skills, um, you could beef up that warmth to a rather decent level, and your mana would start regenerating rather quickly. And as a non-sorceress, um, <laughs> having warmth is actually pretty nice. We also have 45% enhanced defense, so it's going to have a little bit of a defense boost. Fire resistance 30%, which I wouldn't complain about. Damage reduced by 7, which is always nice to have, and uh, increases maximum durability by 15%, which is, of course, on the superior base. So uh, I'm pretty sure that the base that was used for this was a 15-15 base. Let me just double check here. Yeah, so um, so the 30% ED is on the armor, and the 15% ED is on the uh, on the superior base. So the max you're gonna ever gonna be able to get with a uh, an enlightenment is 45% ED if you start with a 15% superior base. And um, all in all, it's just a cheap plus two sorceress armor. And and I guess at the end of the day, if you uh, if you found something better, like a skin of the Viper Magi, you probably put that on instead. And um, it's a, it kind of seems like something that you would create for your sorceress early on, around level 45, wear it for probably, you know, 10, 20 levels, maybe 30 levels, depending on how long it takes you to get a hold of uh, maybe something like a Skin of the Viper Magi or a Chains of Honor or something that is much better. Um, it's it's not going to compete with something like Chains of Honor. I mean, if we look at Chains of Honor side by side, you'll see that Chains of Honor is plus two skills. So we've got plus two skills. They're both plus two. Um, we've got um, the the 20 strength on Chains, which is definitely going to come in handy on a Sorceress because Sorceresses tend to be low strength builds. Uh, we've got Replenish Life, which is not on the Enlightenment. We've got All Resistances 65, which Enlightenment only has... 30% fire resist. You know, we've got damage reduced by 8%, which uh, which Enlightenment only has damage reduced by 7, not seven, not 8%, but just flat 7. And then we've got uh, Magic Find on uh, Chains of Honor as well. So, so in the long run, if you're looking at um, this armor, just think of it as a stopgap armor in between your, um, you know, your, your low-level armor and your high-level armor. This is going to be your mid-level armor. And, uh, and there are armors that are better than this. Um, some people might even choose to use stealth over this just simply because stealth has faster cast. Or um, 
Skin of the Viper Magi, because Skin of the Viper Magi has faster cast. But uh, it could be a decent choice for Sorceress if you just uh, if you didn't necessarily need faster cast. Uh, and what comes to mind to me is people who run the skills that have delays, like for instance, Meteor, uh, Firewall, Blizzard. Um, you know, we've got a lot of uh, delayed skills here that uh, they don't necessarily need extremely high faster cast, and uh, and so you're you're not necessarily looking to build it, and something like this could be a cheaper option. Although Skin of the Viper Magi does also have all resistances, which uh, which you might need, uh, and, and this one does not. So I keep that in mind. Uh, it does give you plus one to warmth, and if you were a character who was not building warmth. You could uh, save that point for a little while. I mean, you always want to have at least one point in warmth, but since it gives you warmth, you wouldn't have to waste that point right away, and you could save it until later when you get uh, when you get a better armor. Um, and as I said, it, it almost seems like they just they wanted this to be used by an enchant sorceress because fireball on striking and blaze when struck kind of make it seem like you're doing an enchant sork. Because if you think about it, uh, blaze has the synergy of Warmth. So you're getting you're getting a huge amount of damage from warmth. It gives you warmth, right? So so they're obviously telling you something here. They're like, okay, we want you to build warmth. We want you to build uh, into uh, you know have have blaze as a synergy. You're obviously grabbing enchant, which is also a synergy of warmth. And then they're also giving you the fireball on striking, which is telling me that they want you to be hitting targets. And uh, so if you were a strictly a fire sorceress who was using enchant. And, uh, and beefed up the synergies for Fireball, which is only uh, Meteor and Firebolt. You could be running around, smacking things, hitting, hitting stuff for some pretty high damage Fireballs. Um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of damage we'd be looking at here, but uh, we, could, we could run the numbers real quick. Why not? Let's run the numbers. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to get the calculator out. Let's get that calculator, because I'm bad at math. I'm bad at math. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see here. Calculator. Think. Oh, wow, that's way too big. Smaller calculator. Why are you so large? All right, so we're going to run some numbers here, shall we? Uh, so fireball at level 15 is 150 to 175% damage. Uh, we have a 14% increase from Meteor and a 14% increase from Firebolt, right? So uh, so 14 times 40, if we wanted to cap it out, would be 560%. Uh, so 150 plus 560% equals 990. And then we have to add Fire Mastery. So level 25 Fire Mastery is um, 198%, so plus 198%. So we're looking at approximately 2,950 to uh, to probably around like 2,000, about like 3,200, I want to say, like that, that would be the spread. So, so roughly about 3,000 damage per strike in fire damage. Uh, from the fireball that comes from the armor, which is not bad, and then uh, and then let's let's run the blaze too if we uh, if we want to blaze. Uh, so blaze is four percent for per level of warmth, and no one builds. Um, you're not gonna, probably not going to build firewall with it. So let's just say four percent times twenty. So 4 times 20 equals 80. Um, and then let's take the damage of Blaze, which is at level 15, 182 to 201. So let's take an average of 190. So 190 plus, is it 80%? Plus 198% from Fire Mastery. That's about 1,000 damage from the Blaze. So Blaze, not so great. Fireball, actually kind of nice. So keep that in mind when you look at this armor is that I think it I think that the original intention of this armor was to be sort of aimed at an enchant sorceress. So if you did ever have the idea of making an enchant sorceress who was going to run around and beat things, um, the I think the general idea here is that you would build fireball 
and uh, and you would run around beating things. And uh, and I could I could see an interesting build, perhaps um, something revolving around max warmth, enchant, maybe um, max energy shield, and then beef up um, firebolt and meteor, just so that you have the the fireball, and then you'd run around just whacking everything. Um, what is that? Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, hundred, hundred fifteen. So yeah, it would it would be something like that. You'd have to skimp somewhere. You'd have to skimp somewhere, and because you, you need fire mastery as well. It'd be interesting to see how you could balance it out. Um, just not enough points to go around. Not enough points to go around. Okay, geez, he 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 literally like digs at my shirt to let me know he wants to go in. He's like, look here, sir. He's like, I want in. in. And then he gets right back out. Well, I've prattled on enough about this armor, and, uh, and I feel like there's really not a lot more to say. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and uh, keep watching.